So I literally got fired to dub my first song that was Dub Chik Dub Chik from the movie Pagli and uh, yeah I mean that's how I got into it. What's up guys this is Asta Gill and you're watching me on Femina.in. Honestly I did not even decide that I wanted to be a singer. Uh, I was always scared of getting into the industry and I was always scared to choose singing as a career because I never thought that you know uh, I would get a chance and uh, I had already chosen some other path. I was working in an ad agency and one fine day I just get a call from Raftarva and he told me like, because we had a bond since I was in college and uh, we had this brotherly, sisterly bond going on and he used to, you know, we used to go to the studios and dub and uh, record songs when I was in college. And um, I was working and he called me in the evening and I think it was around five, 30 something and I was like working um, on some project he's like you have to be at the studio by 8 because I have to deliver the song by midnight and uh, it's a Bollywood number and when I heard Bollywood number I was like okay might as well let's just try and I quickly finished my work and I was about to like leave and my boss gave me some more work and I told him that I can't do it and he yelled at me in front of the entire office and he fired me that day so I literally got fired to dub my first song that was Dub Chik Dub Chik from the movie Pagli and uh, yeah I mean that's how I got into it and then that was like the day for me and I took a leap of faith and now I'm here. The thought behind Q was uh, honestly um, I, I really wanted to work on a love song and it was it was there since quite some time but I was like not accepting it in my own heart and uh, I actually entered the studio thinking that you know we'll uh, we'll make a party number, but like the view was such we were in Goa. There was like this cute little balcony where we could see the sunset from, and I think that changed my um, entire mood. And I was like, you know, Charan Charan is the producer and uh, lyricist, sorry, lyricist and composer of the song, and uh, he's also a close friend. So we were like, I, I just told him, you know, that you know, Charan, I think I want to. Um, work on a love song and I was like well, not very confident about it but then he was like yeah let's do it bro let's do it <laughs> yeah that's how we ended up you know working on the song I think that is one my father yeah because he has given me all the music that I have in me today and um, second is Bacha Bhai because he's he's taught me a lot you know uh, how to how to be on the stage how to work on yourself he's given me that vision that I, I never thought I would, uh, you know, I never thought of myself as a as a big artist in India, you know, I never thought because I I, I, I was too scared and I, I thought it was not possible. But he gave me that vision and he told me that everything is possible, you know, never be scared, which is a learning for me. And I think everyone should learn from this. Hacks, honestly, I feel that there's no such hack, but I think one should know what's in, like the sound, definitely. I mean, obviously, you can't you can't like do like something completely off, and the song should not be the song should not be cringe. I feel lyrically it has to be right, something that people can relate to. That's it. That though, these are the two only things that I focus on when I make a like work on a song. Any day concerts, I am made for the stage, and when I'm on the stage, I'm alive. It's not even funny. Like I love stage, so I'm. Um, Concerts. I think there are lots, but I think I would love, uh, love, love, love to collaborate with. Can I can I name international artists? Okay, uh, I would love to collaborate with Drake someday because I feel that our voice really sounds good together. Like how my voice um, sounds good with Bacha Bai's rap. I feel that you know maybe someday, and I would love to collaborate with Ed Sheeran someday. My favorite collaboration is definitely with Bacha Bai only because I've done plenty with him and it has always been fun. It's always fun to work with him. I get to learn so much. Yeah. Hmm. Tips for aspiring singers, don't give up, don't lose hope. Uh, if you are genuinely passionate about music, you will make it. Aajkal to there, there are so many plat there are so many platforms these days for literally everyone to uh, release music, to showcase their talent. So do not give up if you're genuinely, truly um, confident about your music, just let your passion drive it.
Definitely that song is Buzz for me because Buzz was my debut as a solo artist, as an independent solo artist. And it gave me an identity and it and that song is kind of me. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love that song till date and I feel that it's still fresh like in me and in a lot of other people's hearts. So yeah. Success mantra, I stay original, I do not try to copy anyone, I think that's one thing and whatever I do, I do uh, with complete faith in it and whatever I do, I'm, I, my approach is very positive, I think that's what keeps me driven.